But clear weather and clear conditions for tonight as we get into the weather headlines for the next week or so dealing some with some very hot temperatures, at least for the next couple of days. Initially, we are going to be looking at some heat index values pushing over 100 degrees. Be very important to stay hydrated over the coming days, but we are also tracking some rain to move in by the middle of the week. Temperatures around the region right now. We are in the middle to upper 70s for most across the area. 75 in Glasgow, 70 73 in Litchfield, 79 in Greenville. Pretty comfortable out there overall, but we are still, still dealing with a little bit of the humidity out there. Not really affecting us too, too much right now for this hour as those temperatures are starting to come down a little bit, but nonetheless still rather muggy. Looking at Doppler Max, we continue to have heat advisories in effect for the western portion of our viewing area. It's in effect through Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Central Time. And again, those heat index values could be pushing up to towards 105, maybe even warmer in some instances. So again, you'll want to make sure you're staying hydrated and make sure you're taking frequent cool breaks too. That sun can take a lot out of you. It's very important. We're making sure we're taking care of our health during these hot months. Doppler Max shows we are clean around the area. We've got a little bit of radar contamination around, maybe some showers south in Nashville, but we're expecting to stay dry for the overnight hours. As we get into future Max for the start of your new work week for tomorrow, we're looking at plenty of sunshine to start things off. We we might have a few higher level clouds uh, just to our south, but for the most part, I think sunshine is going to dominate throughout the duration of Monday. Tuesday, as we start off, we'll have a little bit more cloud cover. You notice the rain off to our north and west up into portions of Illinois, expecting that to kind of dry out before it even makes it into our region. And then some even more rain showers further off to our north and east. We're OK for the time being, at least for rainfall. It's not until Tuesday night where we start to see a line a storm start to develop and as it pushes in some of them could bring a few stronger wind gusts you see this line as it's pushing through this is at 10 p.m for tuesday night and then as we head into the morning hours of wednesday storms really start to fire off down into portions of tennessee although the areas along the kentucky tennessee border could certainly see some of those thunderstorms during the overnight hours so you might hear a rumble of thunder but of course we'll continue to keep a close eye on that for you for any potential for severe weather as of right now nothing sticking out, thankfully. Now those temperatures are going to continue to be rather warm. This is the fuels it feels like temperatures when it factor in the humidity with those temperatures well at 100 degrees, if not warmer. And then similar for Tuesday, we're looking at another very hot day across the region. You want to make sure you're again taking plenty of those breaks, maybe even dipping off in the pool to stay a little bit cooler compared to the air temperature that is out there. We are still looking at a good amount of rainfall that could be moving in over the next five days as we head into the work week. Those rain chances really start to come in for Wednesday and Thursday, still having those high rain chances. That's mainly what we're looking at, at least the main impacts for this week. The humidity starts to drop off by Thursday as storm system starts to move in and bring some cooler temperatures for tonight. We will cool down into the middle 70s with partly cloudy skies for tomorrow. Again, high temperatures into the middle to upper 90s, hot and sunny. And then we start to have that rain push in for Wednesday and Thursday, drying off for Friday and then rain.